Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Community Skirmish number 40. Semi-finals between the Cat Skiders and the Storm Riders coming up right here. Canyon Ambush going to be map number one. Let's go ahead and check it out. Cat Skiders. It's a combination of what is this? I've never seen this clan. Interesting. I see the people. Here we go. Thanks, Jub Jub. Brackets, image, down, lol. <laughs> I, I, for the longest time, I did not have trouble bringing them down. And now all of a sudden it's coming up. First up, we have the battering ram for the cat skiders. A goldfish being piloted by Finks on the front. Hail, Hellhound heavy carronade with another carronade on the port side and a banshee on the starboard. They're also bringing the Aria of Bronth. Bronthe? Bronthe? I don't know. Bronte? Bronte? Maybe. Kamoba. Gonna be the pilot with a carronade on the front, flare on the port side, Gatling on the starboard. Oh, goodness gracious. Double Blenderfish. Over on the Praetorian side, we have the Fancy Fairy, Amabula, being piloted by Dementio. Mercury up top with Gatling, Hades on the bottom deck, Banshee, and Flare Gun on the top. Goodness gracious. I, um... I, I have a few choice words for that build that I'm not going to say. They're also bringing the LibGDL. This is a familiar ship being piloted by Luosi. Hellhound heavy carronade on the front with Flare on the port side. Flamethrower on the starboard. Yeah, I figured it was Bronte. Okay. Got it. I, I, I don't get the joke, though. Komoba and Ko are split off from trading troops. Gotcha. Alright. Good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. So... I, before combat starts, we gotta pause. I want to figure out this build. And if you guys in chat are totally welcome to speculate along with me, but... The Mercury really limits your options. When it comes to arcs. Basically having Mercury up top means that you are going to be facing whatever you're firing at. There's no real compromise. Unless you just don't want the Mercury damage. But the Mobula is so reliant on having a ton of firepower. Yeah, they have... Goodness gracious. Uh, they have Gatling on the other side. They ha the Hades does not overlap, I don't think, with the Mercury. This is, yeah, all piercing. What the heck? Except for the Banshee. The Banshee is the only hull break that they have. But the arcs are just weird on that one. I'm not... I don't... Hmm. You know what? If they want to prove to me that this Mobula works, more power to them. Go for it. Prove it to me. I am giving you this opportunity to prove it to me. <laughs> Until then, I won't quite- I won't pass judgment. Right now, the Aria of Bronte and the Battering Ram both hanging out. They really want to make sure they get the first volley off. Because a Carronade can do quite a bit with that first volley. You know, pop both of those balloons. The Fancy Fairy is going to be really scared of these two ships. It's entirely possible that the Battering Ram and the Aria could just go straight for the Fancy Fairy. Both teams being very tentative this time around. Not much to say at the moment. This double carronade has a lot of disable and damage potential. I think, honestly, they can just focus the balloon at the fancy fairy. It's not particularly... 
threatening, I'd say. Not as soon as they get in close. Maybe they take out the Gatling, and as soon as the Gatling's down, they don't have that much to worry about. Here we go. Flare out. Spots down. Battering Ram and LibGDL have both been spotted, and in fact, the Battering Ram gets the first shot. LibGDL hitting the balloon of the Battering Ram. No real problem, though. LibGDL coming around. Whoop. Flare illuminating both of these ships. Carronade comes out, disables the front carronade on the LibGDL, and it's going to have to back up. No real damage done. Not really. Another flare comes out. And they just seem to want to keep both of these blenderfish at bay. Not much happening. I think that right now the Storm Riders are trying to lure the battering ram out. The Fancy Fairy is right around the corner. I mean, the Cat Skiders have got to know. They got to know. LibGDL still hanging out up front here. Generally unafraid. Fancy Fairy uncertain of where the battering ram is. Okay, spot down on the Aria of Bronte. The Fancy Fairy is like, okay, both of these enemy ships are right here in this, in this choke point. I don't have to start facing the other way. I don't have to continue facing the other way. This is not the most exciting match. It's not that tense either. Neither team seems to want to go completely in. The only way this little engagement is going to end is with both teams backing up. I honestly don't think that either team is going to charge through. I definitely don't think uh, the cat. I don't think the storm riders are going to. They definitely are not. I think right now the the cat skiders are just trying to push through, see if they can spot the fancy fairy. I don't think that they saw it though. Now, if they did see the fancy fairy, they'll certainly pull off. And in fact, that's what they're doing. Okay, they must have no battering ram just turning, trying to get out of the way of the aria. But no, I don't think that they've seen the Fancy Fairy. I imagine that as soon as they see that the Mobula is there, they'll go for it. Uh, or they'll they'll try to figure out another way to go. They might go over this big rock. The Fancy Fairy had that idea first. This could be brutal. LibGDL eating a little bit of fire. Not the way that the Storm Riders want to start this engagement. The Fancy Fairy is going to come around. Bounces a little bit. But not that bad. Shots going out on the Arya, and the Arya is forced to back up, leaving the battering ram all alone. In fact, the Arya is going to lose all of its momentum. Armor drops. You do a little bit of damage, but all they've got to really break the hull is the Banshee. So Arya going to get out of there without too much damage on the battering ram, backing up a little bit. Spock goes down. The Fancy Fairy has got to know that it's there. It is showing his rear to it. The LibGDL says, "You know what? I got you covered, Fairy." Rams in on the battering ram. A little bit ironic there, LibGDL getting the worst of it, honestly. LibGDL using impact bumpers just to reduce that damage. Battering Ram loses its armor, but not too much permahole. Fancy Fairy now turning to put some damage down on the Battering Ram. The LibGDL wants to get a Goomba Stomp, but the Battering Ram backing up just in time. And the Karen A going to go out on LibGDL right now. The Battering Ram in a great place, along with the Aria of Bronte coming around behind the Fancy, or in front of the Fancy Fairy, I should say. Fancy Fairy says, nope, we can't be this close to a Karo Fish. And pops Hydrogen to jump up. Aria of Bronte just uh, might have to stay on the Fancy Fairy here, but it's turning down on the LibGDL. The armor is breaking. The balloon's not great. A little bit of permahole damage right now. LibGDL, there we go. Balloon down again. The Fancy Fairy going to focus down the Aria of Bronte. It should be able to get out of here. LibGDL, in the meantime, still getting the worst of the battering ram, and it's going to live up to its name, but it loses its balloon in that ram and its armor. LibGDL and battering ram looking like a couple of paraplegics flailing around on the floor right now. That was not politically correct, but that's okay. Battering Ram, gonna grind up against the ground, barely going to survive. Ram comes out, Battering Ram down. The GDL, no, they both won their respective fights. Fancy Fairy somehow getting the kill.
Now the Fancy Fairy and LibGDL already moving in on the spawn point of the Cat Skiders. Looking for a flank. Arya Bronte may be in a little bit of trouble here. You know what? They were goldfish flopping around on the ground. That's probably more accurate. Arya Bronte has been spotted. LibGDL almost certainly should be spotted, but they're not going to react. Balloon down on the Arya. Fancy Fairy looking to shred the armor. Armor down. But there's no real way to do a ton of damage. Here comes the Banshee finally, but it, it took him a little while. Definitely took them a little while. Armored down. Lib GDL. Dropping Arya Bronte. Not quite down. Most of that damage was them dropping on the ground. The focus far from Lib GDL and the Fancy Fairy just a little bit too much. 3 0 in favor of the Storm Riders and the Battering Ram. Coming in, looking for the Goomba Stomp with Lib GDL, and they get it, but that leaves them very open to the Fancy Fairy. They're able to get out of here, though. Very nice planning from the Battering Ram. Living up to its name. Who is that? Finks doing a really good job. Arya Bronte spawning in. Looking at the Fancy Fairy. Fancy Fairy moving out as quick as it can, but I imagine that buffs are going to be going out on the main engine as quickly as possible to chase. And... That is indeed correct. They're burning kerosene. They're going in quick. In the meantime, Battering Ram coming around behind the Fancy Fairy as well. LibGDL is not quite in a spot to help it out just yet. Fancy Fairy loses armor, loses balloon, and the Ram will do it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Arya, Bronte, and Battering Ram picking up the second kill for themselves. Honestly, that was just a positioning error. The Lib GDL going way too far away from the Fancy Fairy. They may have been able to turn that around by turning around. But Lib GDL just wasn't there, and they give up the kill. I feel like that was honestly just a mistake. Now, Battering Ram and, uh, and Arya want to do exactly what the Storm Riders did to them and move in. Fancy Fairy throwing out some Hades Fire on the Battering Ram. Spot from Lib GDL going to help them out quite a bit there. They almost lose armor, but they should be able to whack it with a mallet and be okay. No, armor goes down just a little bit too quickly. Mercury going to come out as well. Lots of hull damage there. Armor burning. From that Hades, if they don't get the fire under control quick, it's going to drop their armor, they lose it anyway. Battering Ram in quite a bit of trouble. They're able to back up. Flare is going to illuminate them. Damage still coming out. They're just getting chipped away by this, uh, by this piercing damage. They've lost one engine, they lose armor again. The Cat Skiders cannot hang out and let themselves be pecked down like this. They can't stay at this range. They either need to turn tail and run or engage. They can't just slowly back out. They have no way to respond. But right now, that's what they're doing. Now the Arya of Bronte is left all alone as it waited for the Lib GDL and Fancy Fairy to come in. That's exactly what the Storm Riders did, but that's, that's not what the Arya wanted. Not planning. They, they, they were planning for a bad contingency. But they're planning as if they wanted it. Arya, Bronte, losing balloon, losing armor. They will almost drop. They're rising up off the ground. Might be able to get out of this one. They're going forward. Armor drops. Balloon down again. Hades going in. Banshee going to finish it off. Fancy Fairy picks up the kill. 4-2 in favor of the Storm Riders. And the Battering Ram is left to limp away. Flop away, maybe. It's a goldie. Overall, the reaction to that engagement just was not great. They didn't have the right mentality for going in there as hard as they did. Um, they went there. That they went in. 
and then they started taking fire, and they're like, "What? Well, but this this wasn't part of the plan," and they panicked. Maybe they weren't expecting such liberal use of flares. The Storm Riders have used it twice now to stymie the advance of the Cat Skiders. First off in that first engagement, which revealed both of the Goldies eventually. And then just now, when they used the flares to reveal the approach of the Cat Skiders. Off in the eastern side of the map. Fancy Fairy and LibGDL moving in here. This is very risky of them. It's 2-4, to four, so the Storm Riders can't lose on this engagement. But being this close is very dangerous, and there we go. Spot goes down on the Aria, but the Battering Ram... Okay, there we go. Spot down. Flare's gonna go out, completely revealing these goldies. Fancy Fairy realizing it's in a bad position, going to back up. Lib GDL hanging out high. It's, a, it's panicking a little bit. It can't quite drop down because of this big piece of cover. Fancy Fairy throwing down Hades onto the battering ram as well as Banshee. However, chem sprays are up. The battering ram's gonna be okay and it's gonna return fire with its carronade. Flamethrower out on the Aria Bronte with Lib GDL going to ram the battering ram into the wall. Drops the armor. Can't quite get the kill though. Banshee looking to finish it off, but the armor comes back up just in time. Lib GDL after that ram left itself very open. The Aria Bronte going to drop down on him. Hits the balloon. Brings the balloon down. They're burning moonshine to get out of there and get out of the arc of the battering ram and they get it. Banshee from the starboard side starboard side of the battering ram gonna land but not gonna do much damage in the meantime fancy fairy throwing out gatling on the aria of bronte trying to hit the main engine but they're not gonna get it that buffed engine is gonna stay aria bronte gonna keep the pressure up on the lib gdl destroying that carronade hitting their balloon not quite taking it out but their armor drops they're gonna get mushed up against a wall and i think that's all she wrote no not quite yet as the Fancy Fairy comes in for the save. And the Aria of Bronte may go down here, but the Fancy Fairy's balloon is down. The Battering Ram is right behind it. This Mobula is in, is in a huge amount of trouble. Armor down, balloon down. They're trying to Hydro up, but they have nothing. They get rammed into the ground. Now the Lib GDL is in a huge amount of trouble. It's going to get Goomba stomped, ground down into the geometry. No problem. Nicely played by the Cat Skiders. Storm Riders got way too aggressive. They put themselves in a favorable in an unfavorable position by going into the canyons, if you ask me. Again, battering ram. Piloted by Finks. Finks knows exactly how to get those rams going. He knows exactly where to hit. How to hit. Excellent, excellent play. That being said, the Cat Skiders did have a favorable arena there. They're going to need one... So both teams right now, 4-4. Four, four. But these Goldies are so damaged. The Goldfish's main source of survivability isn't its armor, it's its hull. The armor drops so quickly, and all it's going to take is a little bit of damage on the battering ram or the aria to get kills. It has to be a an, a perfect. It has to be a perfect engagement for the cat skiders because otherwise, if their armor drops once, they risk completely losing the match. The fancy fairy is nothing but armor break. Which is really bad news for the Cat Skiders. The Cat Skiders, honestly, the, you know, despite having so little permahole, they gotta play aggressive. And I think I know exactly what they should target. This guy this tubby bundle of love right here the armor is really difficult to bring back up it's a big target and it has been found out but it gets the first shots on the battering ram this is not what the cat skiders need battering rams armor comes back up but not 
soon enough. They sort of... That, that wasn't even running themselves onto the Storm Rider's blade. That was just gradually shoving the sword into their gut.